Okay, hello. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely cloak, the really, really easy way. First thing you'll need is material. To do it this way, to save you hemming everything, if you pick a material that doesn't free. So fleece, um, synthetic jersey, there's probably a few others, but off the top of my head, those are probably the easy ones. If you want to go for something really expensive, you could go for a nice felt or wool, but they would weigh a ton. Okay, so for your fabric, for the size, you need the width to be the measurement from your neck to your ankles and for the length you need it to be kind of hmm, one and a bit times that so basically a fat rectangle is what you're looking for obviously you will also need a needle and thread because we're sewing or a sewing machine which would be easier but never mind um, also, now because I'm making a miniature one for quickness to show everyone how to do it, um, I have a very short piece of string. What you actually need is a really long piece of string, um, at least kind of two, three metres. Um, and I'm using a felt tip because it's easier to show up on the video. But what you probably need is chalk. Or, if you really can't find dressmakers, chalk, eyeliner. <laughs> okay. Oh, and scissors. Scissors. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get the fabric and fold it in half. So this would be the inside of the cloak. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is mark out the pattern. So we get our, what would be chalk, <laughs> in this case is a felt tip, and we tie it to the end of the string. Hold the string in one corner, corner with the fold on. And the other end right at the other side so it's right on the other corner and then we use this to draw a really big semicircle yeah yeah and then we shorten the string and draw a teeny little circle in the corner like that and what you need to do is get a straight edge I was just use the string <laughs> um, and about a quarter to a third of the way in just mark a line like that and mark a little section which you probably want to be about six to eight inches in size about a third of the way down the fabric we want to make it about a third to half the way down so like that the other thing we need to mark out is a hood so what I always do for this is you just use the bottom edge of the fabric this bottom corner in fact and then making sure this bit is about one and a half times the length of your face <laughs> just draw a nice hood shape if you want you can make this pointy as well so you have it like that instead but for these purposes we're just going to do the little one see this I'll give you a closer look at it Whoop. and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here here the shape of the hood and I'm going to cut through both pieces of fabric just in this section so you've got two little slits okay Okay, as you can now see, we've cut both bits out. One thing I didn't mention before, which I probably should have, base of your hood needs to be a little bit bigger than this curved section here. What you can do is, if you cut this bit out first, you can use it as a little template for the bottom of your hood. So you put it there and then draw around it. And then you know you've got about the right size. Yeah, just like that. Okay, now what we need to do is the sewing part, which actually isn't much. So if we unfold this, put that there, and we look at the bits of our hood. Basically what we need to do is sew 
that section there like that continue and sew around the top so we have these two edges sewn together and then once we have this shape what we need to do is sew the hood onto the neckline when you're doing this what I tend to do is I'll sew from the middle out so I will sew from the center seam of the hood out to the edge on both sides that's just because it means if your sewing goes a bit off or your measurements are a little bit out um, you, you kind of end up with a little extra overhang on each side and you can just trim it whereas if you start from one side and so all the way around you'll end up with one big overhang on one side and it'll be lopsided okay okay so I've now done the sewing and if you now get it and turn it inside out you will see we have our lovely little cloak Yee. complete with little armholes Ta -da! right and that's it obviously for fastening it you can just add a brooch or um, attach some ribbons um, if you really want to do this on a budget and you're making them for children or little people under about four foot in height um, a really good thing to do is if you go into the budget um, homeware stores um, and you can get two packs of fleeces for about six pounds and um, this is what I did with my kids and we made the fleeces for about three pounds each and about an hour's worth of sewing so that's how you do it and now I'm going to go and put this on Scarlet Stalls and make pagan Barbies. Bye!